Hey everyone, welcome to episode 16 of the Great Guitar Build-Off 2022. McD Guitar is over here and yeah, we're um, cruising right along. The clock is ticking, that's for sure. So I'm just going to dive right in today like we always do and start getting in some action. So um, <clears throat> we're going to glue the neck in. I've done some finish sanding in between the last video and this. We're pretty close, definitely close enough that it won't be bothersome to uh, do any kind of finish sanding we need to do with the neck glued in. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, let's throw a picture up here first. Uh, I went ahead and set the guitar up and you know, put my bridge on, strings on with the neck just clamped in. Put the high E, low E on, lined everything up. And by doing that, I was able to polish off the prettiness of the taper of the fretboard at the nut. And I uh, know it's going to be aligned with my strings. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. Let's, uh, let's glue this thing in. Well, here we are. We have a neck glued in. It's been glued up for a couple days now, and we have went ahead and we're mocking some strings up on here. I've got a ready-made PRS nut that's not filed to shape. <clears throat> Just loosely shimmed in here with a floor chunk shim of mahogany. And so we're loose there, but uh, for all intents and purposes, we're together, you know, our bridge isn't finished or set up for intonation or but we're looking pretty good right it's a pretty good place to start from and uh yeah i can't help it i can't help to get to this point and just you know Yeah, I love it. You know, we haven't done any fret work yet. I haven't even rounded off the the edges. It's still pretty comfortable. But, you know, it kind of feels like a, a standard guitar and not a really highly finished guitar. So I can't wait to round those edges off and do any fret work at all. But man, I'm pretty happy. Thank you. 
So anyways, wow, what a bunch of fun. Uh, it's set up, it came together pretty nice. I'm pretty happy. Uh, definitely the nicest one yet. I mean, uh, this one and the last one were both uh, came out playing nice. So I'm pretty stoked. So the last one's frets were definitely a little rougher. These uh, with the pressing call went in so smooth. They're definitely, you know, they're scratchy but uh that will be really easy to polish up and uh yeah i can't wait that one's gonna be next so i got a little more experience with this and yeah, i can't wait to move forward but man here we are it's playing so next step we're gonna take take all this stuff back off we're gonna tape off the fretboard and the top and we're going to start doing some grain filling <clears throat> and some sand, <clears throat> excuse me, some grain filling and some sand sealing. And uh, once we get that done and sand it down a little, we can uh, stain this top. Pretty excited. Hopefully that's going to all happen pretty soon. You know, the grain filler and sand sealer will have to go through their processes of setup. But I think I can get it done pretty in a pretty timely manner here. So. That's probably about it for tonight, so I um, guess I'll see you guys in the morning or sometime soon, and we'll continue. I'm loving it. Okay, well, it's a new day, and the uh, sun's shining. I've just raised the grain again on the back of the neck, and it, it's just butter smooth. We are ready to do some grain filling and some sand sealing. But before we start that today, I'm going to fix the first major problem I ran into with my build, and that's forgetting to put my side dots in before I glue the neck in. I was so excited, I just went in and really thought I thought over everything, and well, I didn't, so I have sourced a 6-inch 564th bit, done some practice holes with it, um, feeling pretty confident about it. So let's uh, measure these side dots out real quick and get them in, and then we'll um, get to do some grain filling. Alright, let's go.
Okay, well, first coat done. Um, we've got 45 minutes to wait before we sand and put the second on, so I think I'm going to start making a truss rod access cover. And um, hopefully it comes out pretty neat, so let's, uh, let's start designing it. Well, that came out better than I could have even hoped. Um, I was kind of worried about how I'm going to do with all of these multiple angles I have going on and sanding and the finishing processes. But hey, it's working out great. Just to top it off too, we, this is what we got going on for the start of our truss rod cover. Um, yeah, we'll just keep polishing that up. You know, it's too wide, but I want to be able to set it in and make it look pretty. So we'll keep working that as it goes. You know, we just got to thin it down too. But yeah, here we are. Yeah, look at that, huh? <clears throat> I'm really happy with how that came out. We still have some light sanding to do to just completely polish it up. But we're gonna leave that until right before finishing. And uh, now we're gonna prep the top and do some staining. I'm pretty excited about it. I do have to do a little sanding and get our uh, control cavity to fit back in and sand that up a little bit to give it a real flush meet with the guitar and then obviously you know we're going to stain our headstock veneer and we'll also stain our truss rod cover so we got to have those things ready too so i think that might wrap it up for this episode i'm going to get right back to work but i think we'll continue all the rest of this on episode 17. so uh yeah i'm excited we're going to turn this guitar a good color and uh, yeah, get some finishing going. And we're getting close. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, keep making that sawdust out there. And uh, cheers.